Hilton Hotel at the 66th Annual Cannes Film Festival with La Bellissima, Christina Serafini. Hi, Christina. Ciao, hi, thank you for Bellissima. And your Italian is great, by the way. <laughs> I heard it before. Well, thank you very much. So you recently got done filming the most popular series in Italy right now. It's in its ninth season, Don Matteo. What's that like, working with Terence Hill? Well, I'm working with the guy I used to be in love with when I was seven years old. So it's amazing. And we were shooting this scene like a couple of days ago. I'm sorry about my voice. This is not my real voice, but I have the flu today. And I, I was shooting this scene with him a couple of days ago, and I was crying, crying so much because in the mo in the series, my husband gets killed, and the police thinks it's me, but it's not. And I'm crying, and what I'm trying to focus because I need to to cry in real tears. I'm just looking at Terence Hill, thinking, "Shit, I've always wanted to kiss this." Oh, sh I shouldn't have said this. It's Anyway, I never think about what should I say during interviews, so my truth just comes out. I would have loved to kiss Terence Hill. Now he knows it <laughs> if he's watching this, and it was it was great. It was big emotion. He's the most. Mm, he's the nicest guy. He's sweet. He's not like stars usually are. He's very humble and very gentle. So I want to thank him for giving me this chance. Well. That's, it's incredible because you've worked with him before in the same role in a different series. Do you think you're being typecast? Um, I think I am, yes. A few months ago I was working with him in Un Paso dal Cielo. Um, in Don Matteo he plays a priest and Un Paso dal Cielo he plays um, uh, like a forest guard. I don't know how to say that in English. But what, and, what is it in Italian? Uh, Guardia Forestale. I don't know either, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. And uh, yeah, it was kind of the same role because my husband got killed in that series too and I went to him to get his help and I was crying so much and and now that you make me think about it, actually they make me cry a lot when I work and I, I'm not very, I'm always happy about work but I, I'd like to do also some comedies mm -hmm. and so in like another role I've done recently, I was a mother of a child who gets sick and doesn't have a happy ending mm. so yes they do make me cry a lot so yeah I'm being ca uh, cast tight that's what you're asking yes so that brings up two different things first you were recently given an A1 visa which is if I'm not mistaken given to people for extraordinary abilities <laughs> yes. so clearly you cry extremely well um, what was it like moving to LA um, it was it was great um, I just moved there uh, four months ago. Actually, I thought it would be easier because getting the, the, the O-1 visa was kind of hard, but then when you get it, you think, okay, now I made it. But then as soon as you get to LA, you think, I didn't make it at all yet. I mean, how am I going to survive here? Any woman you meet is an actress. Every ev Everyone is an actor and an actress. So. But I still think I'm special, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm humble, but I also think I'm special, so I think I'm Absolutely. going to make it anyway. And I, I was thinking it would be easier because I also had a friend who was supposed to let me stay in his house. Mm -hmm. So at the beginning, you know, I didn't have any projects waiting for me, so. And, um, but as soon as I got to LA, this guy told me, look, I'm, I've just started dating someone, so you can't stay here anymore. Some so friend. I said, yeah, that's okay. But so it was like, sh should I call my parents and tell them I'm back home tomorrow? And I, I would never do that to myself and to the people who believed in me. So I just I booked a room in a hotel downtown Los Angeles, which was awful, in, like in the most dangerous part of town with all kinds of weird people around me. I would never go out alone. And also, I remember arriving in this bedroom in the hotel and thinking, okay, it doesn't look nice as the place I was supposed to stay in, but who cares? I mean, I have my American dream, so I'm going to make it. Yeah. So I went to buy some cleaning products to make all the room nice and clean, and, and then unpack all my stuff again. So at the end of the day, I was very tired and uh, lying on my bed in this, in this hotel bedroom, thinking, okay, I'm going to make it anyway, even if this is a bad part of the town. And then while I'm relaxing there, I just, I just see a big cockroach running on the fridge oh. and, I, and I told this cockroach just told I told no not you please 
I said, how am I going to survive here? But I did, and I stayed there one month. And um, what I'm very happy. Actually, what, 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 what kept me alive during that month was the idea that one day I would tell this story during an interview. So thank you, Raquel, for asking me that question because <laughs> I was always thinking, Sh I mean, I really hope this all has a happy ending. And if it does, as soon as I... I, I left that hotel, I met some friends, and I was cast in The Bold and the Beautiful. Wow. For, yes, just a couple of epi episodes for the moment, but we'll see if maybe they will develop my character more. Of, so of course I'm very happy about that. <laughs> That's wonderful. I have to just say, comment on your drive, because it's the people that always don't give up, you know, that force through unbearable situations. You know, I'm sure you don't want to live with bugs and have to talk to them even, no, you know? Also, I love animals, so oh. to me the idea, I mean, I, I would never kill even a, a, um, a fly. So the idea that I had to actually choose between me or the cockroaches, <laughs> I, I, I did kill a couple of them. I was, the, the first night I did that, I couldn't sleep. I had nightmares all night because I felt sorry, it's not their fault if they're cockroaches. And You're so sweet. Well, they're, they're alive. I would never hurt anyone, but still, I did. I, <laughs> I did hurt them, a couple of them. You're a fighter. <laughs> um, let's see, so what project have you recently completed? Um, okay, the last movie I was in, which is not out yet, is called Oggi a me, domani a te, and I'm very happy because since, I, as I told you before, I've usually been typecast. Mm -hmm. In this movie, I'm a prostitute, and I actually also have a scene where I have where I make make up make out, you say, mm -hmm. in a car, which I know it doesn't sound very <laughs> very nice. Like my mother would die if she heard me saying this. Like I'm happy I've been a prostitute, <laughs> but I am because my my you choose this um, this profession because you want to be a, a tons of different things. Mm -hmm. So to me it was the possibility of, uh, of being something else, a prostitute, which I've never been before. <laughs> and I'm from Argentina in that movie, so I speak with a Spanish accent, and I, I speak, I, actually I work in four languages, because those are the langu languages I know, English, Italian, Spanish, and French. Mm -hmm. And I've also been a, in a French-speaking movie uh, called Colère, that we shot in Morocco, which is not out yet. So it's coming out in a few months. I don't know the exact date yet. Well, I encourage everyone to go on IMDb, and they can find you can find the release date there for all of uh, Christina's projects. So I hope that you never have to think about being a prostitute in real life, but I'm happy that you get to play one on TV. I guess you know it's a, it's a funny thing, you know, you know, to be. Yeah. And also, so I have to ask you about your relationship with Sean Penn now that you're living <laughs> in the United States. How do you know about that? I guess that. Those pictures just made the tour of the world. Um, okay, many journalists ask me about this, and I don't like to say much about that. And even if you're so nice and talented, I will not make an exception this time. So I like to be very private about those kind of things. And uh, but of, of course, he was, I mean, he's great. Who is not in love with him? And um, he was. It was nice, like in like in the movies, like Cinderella movies. He saw me in a, in a movie, mm -hmm. Il Divo, and, and he came all the way to Italy yeah. to get you. Yeah, he watched that movie in a um, in a little house in Montana, and he started asking about me, and wow. he came to Italy to meet me, and it was nice. And you had, and you he got you. I wonder yeah. what what he had to do. What kind of like uh, courting, I guess you know that he did. That must have been pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, at first I was contacting contacted on Facebook by a producer who knows him and this producer who knows me as well he wrote me look Sean wants to meet you and I was uh, I was all yeah right okay I, I thought it was a joke no why yeah. not well because I, I don't know I mean I was home having breakfast with my grandma in my pajamas and I see this <laughs> Facebook message like Sean wants to meet you look I mean I it took me like at least minutes to think wait a minute is it is this true and then it was true and uh, it was amazing. So I already told you much more than I wanted. <laughs> so. Well, thank you so much. Oh, yeah. I love to hear these details. I love to hear details about romance in Italy, but I don't know who doesn't. So <laughs> you live in a very beautiful place. Well, actually, are you moving? Are you back and forth between LA and Italy? Because you have some upcoming projects that are filmed in Italy. 
Uh, yes, actually, right now I'm, I'm here in Cannes because I'm staying in Italy for Don Matteo. Otherwise, I would be in the States. I'm going back to the States in early July, but while in Italy, I'm doing some more auditions. So if, if something works out here, I'm probably staying in Europe longer. I don't know yet. I'm a little scaramantic, so we'll see. I would like to so sincerely thank you for your time this evening. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Thank you, Raquel. And I really mean it from my heart. You're a great journalist. You're so young, so talented, so beautiful, and so nice. I've been interviewed many times in my life all over the world, but I really mean it. You're the one who made me feel more at home, because even if you're very professional and so young and already so, so strong, you're also very sweet. So you just make people feel at home. So thank you from my heart for this, and I'm sure you will be very successful as a journalist. Thank you so much. I so sincerely appreciate that. And I encourage absolutely everyone watching this to go on IMDb and to find the release dates of all of Christina Serafini's upcoming projects.